Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Angelica and before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my future vlogs. In my video lesson about how to solve percent concentration of solution, you were taught how to solve the percent by mass and percent by volume of a solution. The reason why I made this video is because I want to help those students who have watched that video understand more kasi yung iba sa kanila may mga katanungan sila na hindi ko na nasagutan isa-isa dahil sa sobrang dami na ng mga nag-comment sa video na yon. By the way, before I forget, I want to thank all of you for watching that video. I didn't expect the overwhelming feedback from all of you and I am so humbled to be of great help in your uh, remote learning. In this video, please allow me to speak in Filipino while explaining the lesson para mas lalong maintindihan ng ibang mga estudyante. So before we begin, let us review first kung ano ang concentration of solution. Concentration of solution refers to the relative amount of solute dissolved in a given solution. Ibig sabihin, ito ay tumutukoy sa kung gaano karami ang solute na nadissolved sa isang solution. May dalawang paraan upang malaman natin ang concentration ng solution. It can be qualitative or quantitative. Pag sinabi natin qualitative, ang isang solution ay pwedeng concentrated or dilute. I explained this thoroughly in my video about concentration of solutions. So kung hindi pa kayo nakapanood, panoorin nyo na yung video na yon para mas lalo nyo maintindihan ang topic na ito. In a quantitative way of expressing the concentration of solution, there are two ways. Ito ay ang pagkuha ng percent by mass at percent by volume. Percent by mass expresses the concentration of a solution as a ratio or percentage ng mass ng solute sa mass ng solution. If you can still remember sa video ko na concentration of solutions, nabanggit ko doon na ang ibig sabihin ng ratio or percentage ay parts per hundred ng isang solution or grams per 100 grams of solution. The percent by mass can be calculated through the equation percent by mass equals mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. Ganun din ang percent by volume. Percent by volume expresses the concentration of a liquid solution again as a percentage ng volume ng solute sa kabuoang volume ng solution or grams per 100 ml. It can be calculated through the equation percent by volume equals volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100. Take note, na kapag ginagamit natin ang mga equation na ito sa pagsusolve ng concentration ng solution, kailangan pareho ang mga units ng solute, solvent, or solution. Ibig sabihin, kapag sa problem ang solute ay expressed in grams, Dapat ang solvent or ang solution ay expressed din in grams. Kung ml naman ang unit ng solute or milliliters, dapat milliliters din ang unit ng solvent or ng solution upang makapag-cancel tayo ng same units gamit ang mga equation na ito. Question, paano ko po malalaman kung ang gagamitin ko na formula ay percent by mass or percent by volume? Simple lang. Kung ano ang hinihingi sa problem, yun din ang gagamitin mo na equation. Halimbawa, kung ang hinihingi sa problem ay percent by mass ng solution, ang gagamitin mo na formula ay ang formula sa pagkuha ng percent by mass. Ganun din sa pagkuha ng percent by volume. Ang percent by volume, by the way, ay para sa solutions that involve a liquid solute and solvent. And it expresses concentration by volume of its components. Isa pang katanungan, paano po pag iba ang unit ng solute at ng solution? Kailangan po ba i-convert yung unit? Yes, of course, you need to convert the units para maging magkapareho sila. For example, 
Kung sa problem ang binigay na value ng solute ay ml at ang solution ay liters, you need to convert liters to ml bago mo sagutan yung problem upang makapag-cancel ka ng units. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, kailangan the same ang units ng solute, solvent, or solution sa pagkuha ng percent by mass o percent by volume ng solutions. Tandaan! Ang standard unit ng mass sa metric system of measurement ay grams or kilograms, kaya gumagamit tayo ng grams sa pagkuha ng percent by mass. Sa liquid volume naman ay ml or liters, but we commonly use grams and milliliters dahil sa pagkuha ng concentration of solutions, very light or very little lang ang amount na kinakailangan natin. Ma'am, Paano ko naman po malalaman sa problem kung ano ang solute at ano ang solution? Okay, kung naaalala nyo ang lesson nyo about solutions, ang solutions ay binubuo ng solute at solvent. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki dapat ang amount ng solution than the amount of solute sa problem dahil ang solute ay isa lamang component sa kabuuan na amount ng solution. So, kapag nag-a-identify ka ng given data sa problem, ang solute ay palaging mas maliit ang amount kesa sa amount ng solution. Paano po kapag ang amount ng solvent lamang ang binigay sa problem at hindi ang amount ng solution? Kapag sa problem na encounter nyo na ang amount lamang ng solvent ang binigay, you need to add the amount of solvent and the amount of solute upang makuha nyo ang amount ng solution. Remember, solutions equals solute plus solvent. Paano naman po kapag percent by mass or percent by volume ng solution ang given sa problem at hindi ang mass or volume of solute? Okay. So, kapag ang percent by mass or percent by volume ng solution ang given sa problem at ang hinihingi ay ang mass or volume of solute, then you need to use the formula mass of solute equals percent by mass divided by 100% times mass of solution. Or volume of solute equals percent by volume divided by 100% times volume of solution. Kung napanood nyo ang video ko about solving problems in percent by mass and percent by volume, pinakita ko doon kung paano ko dinerive ang percent by mass and percent by volume equation upang masolve natin ang problem na ang hinihingi ay mass or volume of solute. Ngayon naman, subukan natin sagutan ang mga sumusunod na word problems. So, before natin sagutan yung problem, kailangan muna nating malaman kung ano ang given quantities, required, formula, tsaka natin sagutan ang solution. So, una, kunin natin or i-identify natin ang mga given na quantities. So, sa problem natin, meron tayong 28 grams of sugar at meron tayong 209 grams of water. Na-notice nyo sa problem na hindi binigay dito ang amount ng solution, kundi binigay lamang ang amount ng solvent, which is the water. So, si 209 grams, siya yung ating mass of solvent. Si 28 grams naman, siya ang ating mass of solute. Para makuha natin ang amount ng solution, we only need to add the amount or mass of solute plus the mass of solvent. So, ang mass of solution natin is 28 grams plus 209 grams equals 237 grams. Okay. So, meron na tayong amount ng ating mass of solution. Now, ano naman ang inihingi sa problem or what is asked in the problem? Uh, we notice that in the problem, gumagamit tayo ng grams. So, ibig sabihin, ang inihingi sa problem ay ang percent concentration by mass ng solution. Now, ano ang formula na gagamitin natin? So, dahil percent by mass ang inahanap ng ating problem, so meaning, gagamitin natin ang formula percent by mass equals 
mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100 now, isa-substitute lang natin ang ating mga given values or given quantities sa ating equation or sa ating formula. Now, ikakancel muna natin yung units. 28 divided by 237 is equals to 0 0.12 times 100. So, 0 0.12 times 100, the result will be 12%. So, ang ating percent by mass sa problem na ito ay 12%. So, sa pangalawang word problem naman, um, napapansin nyo na ang binigay sa problem ay ang percent concentration by volume ng solution at hindi ang volume of solute. So, ang hinahanap dito ay ang volume of solute. So, first, i-identify muna natin ang mga given quantities. So, una, meron tayong 10% antiseptic solution, which is ang ating percent by volume. Meron din tayong 120 ml, which is ang ating amount ng solution. Okay, so ito yung volume ng solution natin. Paano ko nasabi or paano mo nasabi na volume ang hinahanap? It's because gumagamit tayo ng milliliters or ang unit na ginamit ay milliliters. So, dito, ang percent concentration ay given. So, ang nawawala ay si volume of solute. So, what is required is the volume of solute. So, therefore, we are going to use the formula volume of solute equals percent by volume divided by 100% times mass of solution. Okay. So, isa-substitute natin ngayon ang mga values or ang mga quantities. So, volume of solute equals 10% divided by 100% times 120 ml. So, ikakancel muna natin yung mga same units. So, 10 divided by 100 equals 0 0.1. But we still need to multiply this one to the volume of solution, which is 120 ml. So, the result will be 12 ml. So, ang volume of solute natin is 12 ml. That's it guys. I hope meron na naman kayong natutunan sa ating video lesson. Tulungan natin ang iba pang mga estudyante sa kanilang distance learning by sharing this video to your friends. Again, this is Teacher Angelica saying God bless everyone and keep on doing your best.